guys welcome back to my channel so I am back today with another Dollar Tree haul I found lots of good stuff some new Valentine stuff and a couple things that just are amazing um, Dollar Tree now that Christmas is over is starting to roll out all of their organizational stuff again so I'm gonna go ahead and start with that because those are kind of the bigger things that I picked up so the first thing they have some new, sorry about the rustling, they have some new of the collapsible storage bins and these are the bigger size of them. If you guys are familiar, this summer everybody was hauling the ones that were, they had like the little colored balls on the front of them and those are really small, but these are big they're like regular size so the one that I picked out is kind of a peach color with the gold um it just looks like someone like dry brushed on it so they had this one they had the ones with the stars um oh it doesn't have a picture of all of them they had striped stars and then one that says l-o-v-e on it and they had the peach color a teal color and gray so I grabbed this one to keep I'm trying to organize all of like my stickers and planning stuff so I picked up one of those for that you guys will notice I have a different background going on I moved to a different spot in my room so fancy so <laughs> next thing I picked up this on the bottom it says it's a pencil box um so it's shaped like this it's kind of cool kind of like a diamondy shape it just looks really like super girly to me so it has two I'm gonna do this without breaking my nail all right so the top opens and you can put like little stuff in there I really don't like that there's a hole right there though because if you put too small of stuff in there it's gonna fly through into the this one actually has a little um lip thing you can pull out and then your big huge pencil box so this is again for my planning I'm probably gonna put like my little fine tip markers in here that I do my specifically bullet journaling with so there's that and these are actually teaching tree they don't have a size on them but these are pretty good size so it just says storage container they came in clear blue and red i picked up two of the clear but they have this cool little you can see this little flapper thing that locks them and then they open and they're just big enough for stuff like stickers and rulers and stuff like that so that's what i got one for well i picked up two so I'm gonna get all my planning stuff organized with those. All right, a couple boring things. You guys have heard me say it before. I absolutely love these. These are the, like the only dish detergent packs we use now. So they're the Ultra Shine and you get 10 of them in there. I wish they would make like a bigger size or something, but whatever. So usually every time I go to Dollar Tree, I get a bag of these. I don't always show them in my hauls because it's kind of boring, but it's good to kind of refresh you guys and let you know that these are amazing and you need to buy them. Also got this. Um, it's new Ajax. So it's charcoal and citrus and it has 100% real citrus extract in it. It just smells, I don't really know why it's blue because it's charcoal. <laughs> Normally charcoal is like gray. Maybe they didn't want it to be gray, but it just smells lemony, but, um, you know, the charcoal craze. So yeah, this is a 14 fluid ounce bottle. These last us usually about two weeks, but we only hand wash like our pots and pans and stuff. So they last us a while. All right, next thing is another cleaning supply. So I got a bottle of the Fab, the classic Fab. And um, this is a 40 ounce. So it's 25 plus 15 bonus ounces, so it's a 40 ounce. Um, I bought one for the first time last week, and I really like it. It doesn't have a super overpowering, the scent is Spring Magic, 
but it doesn't have a super overpowering scent to it, so I really like that. Um, my kids tend to break out if we use scented stuff, but this stuff so far, everyone's been, nobody's had a problem with it, so super cool. It's Valentine's stuff. So this is for sure new this year. They had this one and they had one with the little red truck on it that says all you need is love. I already have a sign in my living room that says that so I didn't want to get another one. And this one just says happy Valentine's Day with the cute little bow but it has a bicycle on it and it's so freaking cute. So it looks like a tag kind of. It reminds me of I have another one from Christmas time that has a little red truck on it and it says home for the holidays and this is like the same exact shape same exact size so I'm making oh my god you guys something just fell off of my dresser and my cats are like let me see I can't flip this around but my cats are freaking out right now and it's hilarious <laughs> so let me see if I can figure out how to flip it around Okay, so I couldn't figure out how to flip it around, but something fell off of my dresser, and it was so funny. They're, like, so terrified. <laughs> Anyways, so, yeah. This is just so cute. Alright, another new thing this year. These are fortune cookies. So there's ten of them in here. Comes with red and white and they're okay so they're just made out of foam that's like hot glued together they're so cute though and then the little tags have a heart and you pull it out and it has fortunes it tells you what your fortunes are it says includes 10 fortunes there's happy valentine's day you're one smart cookie you will have a fun adventure you make me smile you're so sweet so it just it has all of them listed right there you probably won't be able to see that but have them all listed right there these are so cute though um I saw Lisa over on Pookie's View haul these this morning and I was thinking it would be she mentioned printing off your own fortunes and I thought it would be really cute to like make one for my kids like leading up to Valentine's Day or something so super cute Another thing, I'm not sure, I think these are new this year because I definitely would have bought them if they had them out last year. Um, these are treat sacks, so you get three in there. It's a little burlap bag. They had pink and red. I chose the red. Um, so it has a heart painted on it, and then it has the little red drawstring up at the top. So again, got these for my kids for Valentine's Day. I like to put together, normally I put together like a little basket or just a little like sandwich bag that has like decorated on the front and has Valentine stuff in it for them. So I'm really excited about this year to use those little bags in there. So the next things I have are candles and these have actually been on my wish list since I have seen people hauling them. So they're by Flashpoint Candle. They're hand poured artisan candles and they come in these adorable little, these are glass jars, the little, um, I don't know, closure thing, <laughs> clip thing. I don't know what it's called. So this one is called Citrus Grove and this one, um, it has this cute little sticker on top. This one smells to me, it smells like sweet tarts. So I probably should have bought two of these, but I've seen them in every Dollar Tree that I've gone to since they've come out. So I kind of have high hopes that they're going to be like around. So, um, this one, I should have picked a different one cause this one's kind of banged up, but it's ombre from orange down to yellow. And this one is called Harbor Sands and it has this pretty sticker on the top. This one has like a vanilla-y kind of, I don't know, it has like a beachy smell to it. It smells really good. And they're, I love that the little clasp things are like this kind of like rose gold bronze color. So, so when I'm done burning the candles, I'm going to keep the sticker on top. I'm going to take this sticker off the front and then I'll probably just set them up like 
on a shelf with like little stuff in it, like little trinkets or whatever. This one is Maui Melon. I guess I could tell you guys how big these are too. They're four ounce. I mean, they're kind of, they're pretty big. Like they're bigger than I was thinking they were going to be. So well worth a dollar. And this one's the pretty ombre pink to green. And it's got this pretty design on top. And it smells just like, I had it in my mind, what it smelled like. It reminds me of cucumber melon. That's what it smells like. I love it. So they did have, I'll put a picture in the other two. One was called spring dew and one's called basil, basil and herbs, I think, or something. The spring dew one was kind of like lime green to blue. And the other one was like a lime or a bright green to like a dark green. I did not care for either one of those. So I didn't pick them up. Um, these are more kind of like the color schemes that I like too, like the bright, like reds and pinks and stuff like that. So pretty cute. I really like those. I was really, really excited to find them. Another thing that just completely blew me away. They had three different ones. There was a cat one. It said my favorite people have paws or something. Then there was a dog one that said my dog, I love my dog or something. And then there was this one. So it is just like the particle board, but on the front, it looks like the wood. So it says life is a journey. Enjoy it. So my plan with this is I'm actually going to paint over this and I'm going to try to do red and black buffalo plaid on here. So we'll see how that goes on such a funky shape, but these kind of cutouts and stuff like this are so freaking expensive. So even like my mom went shopping with me yesterday and she was like, finding something like that for a dollar and it's like a good size too. Like, I mean, I have a big head, but this is like big. So it's just amazing. So even if you got like the cat one and just painted it a solid color and put something else on it, like put a picture of your cat on it. I don't know. <laughs> like these are so cool. So I mean, look out Hobby Lobby. Dollar Tree is freaking stepping it up. I also saw all of the new fairy garden stuff. If you guys haven't seen it, you can go onto dollartree.com and see the whole collection that they're bringing out this year. It's kind of like sweets and ice cream and stuff like that and not really my thing. I'm not really into the like pastel colors and all that and they're covered in glitter and it just just isn't my style. But I saw these and you guys are going to know exactly why I had to get it because of the little owl up here. So the owl has a snail on his head. The turtle has a frog on his back. And then the snail has a ladybug. So the snail looks terrible. It looks like it got hit by a car. You can't really see the terrible paint job on there. But this owl, I actually went through the whole rack and this was the best painted owl. So, <laughs> so that was why I picked it. But yeah, these are super cute. I still have all my fairy garden stuff from last year, so I'll probably actually set it up this year. Maybe, I don't know, we'll see. So another thing I found that was on my wish list is this little desk lamp. So these were a lot smaller than I was expecting. I don't know why I had pictured in my mind that it was like some big box, but they're LED super bright desk lamps. Um, I have seen people do reviews on these and they work awesome they take two three double a batteries so you have to make sure you get some batteries um but it has this little metal neck thing that bends and then you have your little on off button right here put your batteries in the bottom you don't even need any tools that's super nice um i got this for my daughter jenna this is gonna go next to her bed she doesn't have like a lamp or anything, so I figured this would be perfect for lighting up if she wants to lay in bed and read or whatever without having her big light on, so super cute. A couple hauls ago, if you guys remember, if you've been watching me for a while, I hauled a pack, the six pack of the crystal clear jot tape. Um, I had put it in an empty scotch tape roll and it doesn't work very well, so I got one of these, the little jot tape dispenser. 
and I actually took it out in the store. Jackson, my son, was with me and he scolded me for taking this out in the store. He thought I was trying to steal it. So <laughs> I told him, um, I can open it because I'm going to buy it. So it doesn't have the, like, you know how these have like sand in them? But what really made me want it is this isn't plastic. This is actually metal where it cuts your tape. I think that's why the um, scotch tape one doesn't work because it's plastic right there and the jot tape is kind of funky so it doesn't really, it doesn't want to cut on plastic if you know what I mean. It wants metal so those are really sharp too. This is pretty nice for a buck. Hmm. So yeah, that way my kids can't run off with my tape rolls either because I'll know where it's at. I only got one food item this time and this I think I've seen these there before I'm not sure but it's the um, snack sacks so this is eight ounces um, but it's the Barnum's animals crackers and these just I don't know right in the childhood they're not the Stouffer's animal crackers I love those two if you dip them in chocolate frosting oh my god it's so good but these are more like graham crackers. So I just like these. I remember them from when I was a kid when they would come in the little box with the like woven handle. I think they still sell them. But super cute. Boring. I had to get a pill organizer because I am taking some new medications now. And I have to... It's just easier for me to remember if I took my medicine or not. If it's in one of these. Got some cotton balls, pretty boring. But these are the big ones and they're what I need to take the nail polish off with. All right, the last three things are amazing. So I'm gonna show the last thing. Actually, if my cousin Jessica is watching this, I'm gonna show one thing at the very end and you're going to have to click off. And if you don't click off, I'm gonna be really mad at you. So. We were able to find the Paw Patrol Kleenexes. Jackson was with me and we dug through the Kleenexes and he literally like gasped in the middle of Dollar Tree. <laughs> there were three packages and we almost bought them but we left some for everyone else. So if you guys watch my bestie Bonnie over at Bon Bon's Halls, she found some more and she bought them for Jackson. So girl, you can hold on to that one if you want. I mean, he would probably accept them if you sent them to us, but I don't want you to have to mail them when we already found some. So they have all the characters. They have Rocky, Sky, Zuma, Rubble, Chase, and Marshall. And these Kleenex work super good. Um, there's only nine in each little thing, but they're really thick. And Jackson always has one in his backpack. So, all right. And this next thing, I need another tote like I need a hole in my head <laughs> but I just couldn't pass this up because it's like the old school Marvel comics and I got so excited when I saw that it had the wasp on it I love Ant-Man and the wasp and it has Doctor Strange and then little tiny Ant-Man is right there so it's got some of the like not so typical characters on there I love that so super cute it's on both sides and just the red I don't even know what kind of material that is, like canvasy material, I guess. So, yeah, if you're looking for reusable bags, Dollar Tree is where it's at. Like, every reusable bag I have is from Dollar Tree, pretty much. All right, so, my cousin Jessica, if you're watching this, you need to close out of the video. I love you, but I don't want you to see this, because it's, I want everyone to see it, but it's amazing, and it's going to be your birthday present, so, bye! So... Give her a couple seconds. I hope you guys are having a good weekend. It's Saturday evening. I'm probably not going to post this until Sunday. But we're on winter break. So. It's been real. <laughs> okay. Hopefully she's clicked off now. So Dollar Tree has their like deal of the week. Are all the plush pillows right now. They're really 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 soft. And they're really cute. They have super cute ones. 
but this is she has a boston terrier named bailey and our birthday is the same day we were both born on january 11th so she was my birthday present when i turned three and this is gonna be for her i'm sure her daughter is gonna end up with it but that's okay <laughs> it's super cute and it's super squishy and i just could not leave it there so yeah i love it all right you guys that's everything for this haul so i hope you saw some good stuff i know i got some good stuff so yeah i will see you guys next time bye